This is not a campaign visit, but a chance to formally apologize for America's role in forcing tribal children into abusive boarding schools. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda has been speaking with officials on what this apology means and joins us now. And Emily, what is the Biden administration saying ahead of the president's appearance? Well, Dana Mary, the Biden administration calls this time a stain in our nation's history. And in order to continue moving forward with federal tribal relations, the president plans to fully acknowledge the harms of the past. In May 2022, for the first time in history, the United States issued a 100-page report detailing a dark chapter in our country's history book. In the early 1800s, thousands of Native American children were taken from their homes and put into federal Indian boarding schools. While the report found that Oklahoma had the most boarding schools with 81, Arizona was second with 47, some in Pima County, including the Tucson Indian School. Speaking during an interview back in 2022, Gila River Governor Stephen Rowe Lewis spoke on this point in history. The history of, of Indian education, those sad chapters, that boarding school era, which literally was forced assimilation of Indian students, tens of thousands, took their culture, took them away from their families, took their hair, took their language. Anything Native American stripped away in an effort to force the children to embrace Western culture. They were told to speak English and they were punished if they spoke in their native language. This program went on for 150 years. Now to bring in a new era of federal tribal relations, President Biden is expected to offer a formal apology for the U.S. government's role. Formally apologize for this stain on our nation's legacy, to formally apologize to uh, tribal leaders, to, to people who are still alive but have lost loved ones who still bear the scars. The Biden administration says his apology will build upon his administration's work with tribal communities. That includes investments in Indian health services, infrastructure, and addressing missing and murdered indigenous people. An apology, um, while overdue and critically important, is, is one aspect of a broader effort to make sure that our tribal nations in Arizona and across the nation are treated with dignity. Now, President Biden is expected to speak on the Gila River Indian Reservation tomorrow morning. 13 News will be there and will bring you all the President Biden has to say to the tribes, both on air and online. Reporting in studio, Emily Miranda, 13 News.